persuasion hasn't worked, doctors hope education will. They want people to know that antibiotics have no power over colds and viruses. The doctor might ha separate things out, but the expectation that your child with a runny nose and a cold and cough is going to be given antibiotics and get cured uh, is often sort of misplaced. And sometimes dangerous. It's frightening worldwide. Too many doses over time leads to resistance, meaning that bugs which should be susceptible to drugs are now immune. Even six or seven years ago, we had about 10 or 12 oral antibiotics that would work on most ear infections. And we're really down to three or four now because the germs are now resistant there's a short list of don'ts when it comes to antibiotics and viral infections. First, they don't cure the illness. Second, they don't keep other people from catching the sickness. And third, they don't make your child feel better. The same rules apply to adults. Late last year, physician guidelines changed, encouraging doctors to wait for 10 days before prescribing drugs for sinusitis and bronchitis. It keeps going back once again to trying to prevent the overuse of antibiotics. So that's why the first line always is conservative treatment. Even when antibiotics aren't the answer, your doctor may still help you with symptom management to make you feel better. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.